Good day everyone! So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang history of swimming. So first, around 4,000 to 9,000 BC in the ancient Egypt, ginagamit nilang swimming for fish and hunted. So, in short, ginagamit nila ito for survival para manghuli ng mga isda para meron silang makain. Next, they showed their swimming techniques in the paintings on the cable. So, nakikita kasi doon sa paintings yung dog peddling, freestyle arm strokes, kaya na-identify nila agad na swimming yon. So, ancient thinkers, poets, lawmakers, general officers, doctors quickly realized that the positive effects of swimming and they applied them in military tactics and trainings as well as in education. So, in this era pa lang is tinuturo na ang paglalangoy. Swimming and batting culture. So, dito pa lang is siyempre natuto na sila na maglangoy, magligo, maglinis ng katawan, personal hygiene, kumbaga. So, next tayo. Swimming and spa life in the Middle Ages. So, after the fall of the Roman Empire around 476 AD, water has lost its popularity. Any contact with it was considered unclean and sinful. So, ginakonsider nila na makasalanan kapag once na nagpabasa ka, naligo ka, ganun. Everyday batting and swimming in open water are extremely harmful to health. They process. So, kasi daw, water may have been the source of diseases and illnesses. And, it was better to stay away from it. So, kasi daw, nakakulong. Mayroon talaga, di ba, minsan cases na makakuha tayo ng mga sakit sa tubig. Siguro kagirun sila, ganun char. Pero kasi, di ba, minsan kapag once na marumi ang mga tubig, may mga balat na parang sensitive, so yun nakakakuha ng mga sakit. At saka, mas madali kasi makahawa ang mga sakit, lalo na kapag once na may sakit, na, lalo na sa mga balat-balat, then nagligo doon yung taong may sakit na yun, then makahawa talaga siya sa iba. So, sa era na ito, is pinagbabawal nila ang pagliligo. But, ang swimming is, is part siya ng seven nightly skills. Kaya medyo nag-approve sila that time. Kasi diba kung makikita itong picture na to, yan. Yan yung ano, yung ang mga knights o yung mga alagad o yung gwardiya, nagasakay sila sa likod ng kabayo lalo na kapag nakikipaglaban sila. So kailangan nilang matutong maglangoy para maiwasan yung mga malunod. But again, kasi dahil nag-increase yung mga ano, yung cases ng mga nalulunod kaya nagbalik sila na ginapagbawal talaga nila sa ila na ito yung pag yung swimming next tayo so the renaissance of swimming people in the renaissance discovered the beauty of the human body and that of physical activity returned to the ancient values of body culture swimming and bathing in the open waters have become popular again So, bakit? Kasi nakita nila dito yung figures good, yung works of art. Kaya nagbalik siya na nagbing popular siya ulit. The revolutionary new features of physical education in the 18th and 19th century became prevailing also in swimming lessons. So, dito nag-start na ginaginaturo ang swimming. Based though 1723 to 1790, and Goods Mutt, 1779 to 1839, initiated swimming and water-saving lessons in school. They fought for that swimming lessons also become instituted by the state. So, syempre, naging part na ng lifestyle natin ang paglalangoy, ang pagliligo. So, pinaglaban nila na dapat ituro na ito in school para maiwasan ang mga cases na tulad ng mga malunod, ganun. Next tayo. The origins and the evolution of competitive swimming. From the first Olympic Games in 1896, swimming has been included in the program of the Olympics. Siyempre kasi, di ba, nag-alangoy na rin sila, natuturo na rin sa school, so na-include na nila in the first Olympics ang swimming. The first competitions were also held in the rivers, lakes, or gulfs. Siguro dati wala pang mga swimming pools, so doon na lang nila ginahild. So, before naganap ang Olympic Games in Europe, meron na rin mga tournaments na naganap na naheld sa Japan in 1810, then Australia in 
Next is itong Organizations of Competitive Swimming. First is yung FINA, the Federation Internationale de Notation. It was founded on July 19, 1908 in London, United Kingdom at the Manchester Hotel. So, hindi ko alam saan yun. The Organization of Competitions in five aquatic sports which are the swimming, diving, synchronized swimming, water polo and open water open water swimming. So next, the LEN or the European Swimming Association or in French, League European Denotation. Hindi ko alam kung tama ang pagbasa ko. Was established in August 30, 1927. So, in addition to swimming, the rest of aquatic sports are subject to the supervision of the federation. The water polo, diving, synchronized swimming, and long course or open swimming. So, ayun lang po. That ends my report and sana may natutunan kayo kahit may exit lang. Thank you.